Hi, this is going to be the uh, LA County Sheriff. And we're taking you now to Calabasas, California. Local authorities are giving an update on today's deadly helicopter crash that killed Kobe Bryant and several others. Let's listen in. Let's go live with uh, Chief Darrell Osby of the County Fire Department. Good afternoon. My name is Darrell Osby and I'm the fire chief of the Los Angeles County Fire Department. I want to thank you for coming here to today's uh, briefing of the Willow incident. Today, shortly before 10 o'clock at 9.47 a.m., the Los Angeles County Fire Department received a 911 call of a potential helicopter down in a brush fire at the intersection of Los Virgins Road and Willow Glen Street in the city of Calabasas in unincorporated uh, Los Angeles County. Upon arrival, our firefighters discovered approximately a quarter acre brush fire that resulted from a crash on the, hill, on the hillside. The Los Angeles County Fire Department initial response was 15 pieces of apparatus and 56 personnel that consisted of paramedics, engine company, heavy rescue, truck company, hand crews, and aircraft, and a chief officer to oversee the incident. Upon arrival during the incident and upon arrival of the Sheriff's Department, our two de respective departments entered into unified command to handle this incident. Um, our firefighters on scene indicated that there was a debris field and steep terrain with a quarter acre brush fire that was occurring at the time. Our firefighters hiked in to the accident site with their medical equipment and hose lines to uh, extinguish the uh, stubborn fire as it included the brush fire, debris from the helicopter, and the fire also included magnesium, which is very hard for our firefighters to extinguish because uh, magnesium reacts with oxygen and water. In addition to our firefighters hiking into the incident, we had one helicopter flying to the incident with firefighter paramedics on board. Those paramedics were hoisted down to the incident early into the uh, incident. Um, they did a search of the area for survivors. Unfortunately, all the survivors on board were determined to have been perished. Um, firefighters and hand crews worked to extinguish the fire while carefully pre preserving the incident for investigation. Um, currently, this investigation is still ongoing. I would like to turn this over to my sheriff to continue the press briefing. Personnel from Los Angeles Sheriff's Station responded to the scene of, of the crash site and uh, assisted the fire department, and we've established a a containment area and now our aero bureau has a handle on traffic or uh, aircraft accidents however when there's a fatality then it switches to the national transportation safety bureau the ntsb and the federal aviation administration the faa the faa is already on scene and assisting we're waiting the arrival of the coroner's office to assist in the recovery of the remains as the chief indicated there were no survivors we have a manifest that indicates that there was nine people on board the aircraft, the pilot plus eight individuals. Uh, there is uh, wide speculation as who the identities are. However, it is entirely inappropriate right now to identify anyone by name until the coroner has made the identification through their very deliberative process and they've made, made notifications to next of kin. And it'd be extremely disrespectful to understand that your loved one was perished and you learn about it from TMZ. That is just wholly inappropriate. So we're not going to be going there. We're going to wait till the coroner does their job. And we're assisting the families of those who believe they've been impacted. And it's a, it's a, it's a tough process. And our hope goes out to all of the members that were on board, all the family of everyone who was on board this aircraft, and uh, God bless their souls. So at this point in time, we have nothing that we can add until 
the coroner does her job and we'll be making those notifications when we have that information and we know the next of kin have been notified then we can release the information publicly and you'll be notified in uh, subsequent uh, announcements sure. 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 If there's one thing you can confirm do we, we have a confirmation bodies? actually of nine bodies there at the scene that is that is our belief yes okay. thank you so we realize at this point there are so many questions. There's a lot of information out there. And again, we understand um, you know, we, there's a lot of information that's floating, but we certainly have a responsibility and an obligation out of respect, of course, for the families. And this is a very difficult time uh, for us all, for the city. We have the mayor here of Calabasas, also city council. We thank them for being here. And in fact, they wanted to pass on a message that uh, for those in the community that want to gather here and are coming to Calabasas, um, if you do, uh, you are welcome to join others at the De Anza Park here here in Calabasas and the cross streets there are Las Hills and Las Virgins. Also, um, the Sheriff's Information Bureau we will be sending out updates as to uh, when there will be, if there is one, a press uh, advisory out, a notification of another press conference or any other updates through our Twitter. So please look for that. And again, we thank you so much for being here today. And again, thank you for your time. Well, Sheriff, we have more. Sheriff, just a question quickly on, so on sealing off the area. We know the the NTSB has to be there to do that thing. Is the public going to be able to get anywhere nearby, or is a stretch of Las Virgins going to be shut down for an indeterminate period of time? It remains shut down for an indeterminate period. How big of an area? Any idea? Can you confirm there was heavy fog in the area? That's their own All right, so you've been listening there to the L.A. County Fire Department Chief and the L.A. County Sheriff uh, giving a bit more information on what happened earlier today. Uh, the bit of new information that we had not heard, according to the sheriff, you heard just mo moments ago, saying that nine people, they believe, were actually on board this helicopter. Again, uh, the sheriff saying nine people were on board, but also emphasizing, as you heard, that they are not identifying anyone by name pending notification of kin. Uh, we were told by the fire chief, uh, Daryl Osby, that this call came in at around 9.47 a.m. local time of a potential helicopter down and brush fire in Calabasas. They sent uh, 56 personnel, including paramedics, some of whom were actually flown to the scene by helicopter and then lowered to the area to do a search for survivors. However, everyone on board perished. Uh, the FAA, the sheriff says, is already on the scene. They are awaiting the arrival of the